Chad Murray figuratively and literally abandoned Michael Jackson on June 25th, 2009. He left this vulnerable man filled with Valium and Midazolam and Lorazepam and Propofol with no medical monitoring equipment, no necessary resuscitative equipment. He left him there, abandoned him to fend for himself. It violates not only every standard of care, but decency from one human being to another. Michael was in that state, in that bed, because of the drugs administered by Conrad Murray. That is why he was in that state, in that bed, when Conrad Murray walked out of the room to make phone calls, to go to the restroom, or whatever he may have done. Whatever theory the defense puts forward, whatever evidence the defense puts forward, it will be clear that Conrad Murray abandoned Michael when he needed help. It was Conrad Murray's gross negligence. It was Conrad Murray's unskilled hands and his desire to obtain this lucrative contract of $150,000 a month that led Dr. Murray not only to abandon his patient but to abandon all principles of medical care. Conrad Murray's actions, Conrad Murray's omissions to act, directly caused the death of Michael Jackson. And at the close of all the evidence in this case, after he's absorbed all the facts in this case and has absorbed the law in this case, the people will ask you in no uncertain terms to return with a verdict of guilty for the solitary crime charged involuntary manslaughter premised on the gross negligence of Conrad Murray. Thank you. Mr. Walgren, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, let's take the mid-morning break at this time. I'm going to take a 15-minute break. And ladies and gentlemen of the jury, please remain bound by and follow all of my instructions as to your conduct. You can take your break in the jury room. Watch the step down and the door opens outward. Thank you. So there you go. Pro